What's up y'all? Welcome to the first installment of Built For This. This is going to be an authentic, realistic, real rap raw vlog of my journey. My mission is to give you as much backside information as I continue to grow um, a couple different businesses, as I continue this self-love journey, as I continue to lead and learn and really just explore and try to live my best life as possible. My heart and my life's mission is to instill the right to confidence in others by way of passion, love, repetition, and relationship. And I have a huge heart for mentorship and for talking and for being in community with people. And one of the ways I think I can do that best is by doing a vlog. The number one thing for me is making sure that this is authentic. This is just me being me. This is unscripted. Yeah, I'm gonna have some talking points, but it's also just me being able to share um, as I grow. I don't know everything and I am a brand new full-time entrepreneur CEO to this degree and this level. Um, the ideas that I have when it comes to these businesses are astronomical um, in my mind. The vision that I have for my life, the vision I believe God has for my life that he's implanted in my heart is it blows my mind every single day. And so this is why I wanted to vlog this. The vlog will get better, I promise you that. Right now, I wanted to make sure that I started this um, right now. And the reason why I want to start right now is because towards the end of the first, first quarter, I was able to get a real glimpse of what my life looks like and what it's gonna look like in the work. And though I journal daily, I wanted to be able to do something that allowed me to get in front of the camera, talk and share my experiences. My mission was to start and to keep going. That's it. Start and keep going. I know that this will get better. I know that one day I won't have to edit this. I know that I'm going to have a team around me. But for right now, it's just me doing this and everything else that you will see. And so it might be kind of choppy. I might talk too long. I might talk too short. Whatever the case may be is. I'm just along for the ride and I'm a huge fan of the process. And one concept that I've really adopted this last week was like a lot of people talk about perfection, but I'm like, I think I'd rather have precision. So that's my new thing is I like, I'm a huge fan of details, organizational mindset, but precision over perfection. And that's allow me and that's going to allow me to have peace in my process. So. That's it. This is the built for this vlog where every week I'm going to be dropping a new vlog as raw, as long or short as it needs to be, as it can be, because frankly, I don't have that much time to do it, but I want to do it and I care about doing it and I will answer whatever questions I can. So make sure you hit me up on whatever platform um, you see me on. Make sure you leave comments. You do all the other fun likes, subscribe, different things. And I'm not here to build like a big dope YouTube following. I hope that eventually that is the fruit of this, but this is really for me to be able to look back five years from now and be like, yo, that's crazy. I remember that. Um, or even just a quarter from now or a month from now, really just setting creative goals for me for this to be a creative outlet. Um, and that's that's really it. So I hope that you enjoy. And if you don't. OK, I don't I mean, that is what it is. It's not going to stop me from doing what I need to do. Yo, so this week was crazy. It was a mad draining week um, for a multitude of things. I dropped a video on TikTok just talking about how sometimes entrepreneurship is boring. It just, it just is. And the thing about it though, is even though sometimes it gets boring, it doesn't mean it's not still worthwhile. And for me, that's what I have to remember is like, I'd much rather live this life than live the lives that I was living prior. Not that I didn't like those lives. It was just that this is what I was waiting for. I couldn't wait to get to this point. And some of this point is boring, whether it is you're working on logistics and taxes and finances and invoice and all that other fun stuff does because it deals with money. But we know, excuse me, we know the funnest part about money is spending it, not necessarily sending out invoices. But my guy Jay-Z said, it's the invoices that separate the men from the boys. But I'm also going to say it's the invoices that separate the queens from the princesses. So um, yeah, that just is what it is, right? It, it's there's working in your business and working on your business. And a lot of this first quarter for me as a full time entrepreneur was working in my business. I couldn't wait to get to the creative piece. And I thought that was what it was going to be right out the gate. And it wasn't. It was and is um, a lot of um a lot of foundational work, right? Even though I had been doing this on the side, now it was like, here is what you're doing, how you're doing it, and you're doing this for real because this is how you are going to leave, live 
and eat, right? Like this is it. This is how I'm building my family's legacy, my generational wealth, my generational freedom, all of that stuff. Um, and there was a life that I lived prior to this and I really liked it. And I want to be able to keep living that life. But now it depends on me to be able to do it. So there's a lot of structures that I have to have in place. When it comes to me specifically, um, I have a couple different businesses that I do and that I run that take up uh, a good amount of time all day. Um, the number one thing that I do is not a business is um, I'm getting my doctorate. I'm getting my doctorate in organizational leadership um, and I thoroughly enjoy it because I love to learn and I haven't always loved to learn. I'll talk about that later on the podcast or sorry on the uh, vlog. I'll talk about that later on the vlog um, in different parts but um, I haven't always been a fan of traditional learning and I definitely can't say that I am now. I just really love to learn what I'm learning because it helps me get better at my craft and it helps me be um, a better, it helps me become an expert. That's simply it, right? Like I need to be an expert. So um, in what I'm doing. And so that's one part. That's the number one thing. So uh, that is, that takes up about five hours a day. Um, about six days a week. So it's about 30, 35 hours of writing. I'm in the midst of writing chapter two. Um, and once I finish this, I will be submitting my proposal. So my hope is within the next month, I would have that submitted. So that's one thing I'm going to keep you guys posted on. So if you're a doc student or want to get your doctorate or dissertation or thesis and master's and whatever, um, definitely ask me questions. Um, what it feels like to be a black woman at this level is... Um, that in and of itself is very interesting and I'll definitely be sharing more about that later as well. Um, but outside of that, I'm a real estate investor. I've been in uh, real estate for the past five years, um, six years, something like that. Um, and I have short-term, long-term rentals. I have six doors total and I'm grateful for it. Um, I definitely, again, will be talking about that more, but I'm grateful for what I've dabbled in, what I've been able to do. And uh, I'm content with what I have and where I'm at. Um, and that is hard to say, I think, for some people because, right, you like hear people with 10 doors and all these buildings and all this stuff. And I'm content because it got me to this point in life that now is going to allow me to create this next life that I want to live out. Um, and then eventually I'll get back into real estate. But right now I'm I'm good where I'm at. Thank God. Um Outside of that next, I have a nonprofit that is dedicated to my late mother. It's called Dretz Heart, um, where I raise funds for scholarships and support, frankly, um, supporting people, humans, um, black um, humans, black students, black student athletes um, across the board. So that is something I raise funds for um, daily, weekly, monthly. So if you ever want to donate, it is an official nonprofit. Let me know and I got you. Um, the next thing is you wish you wish coaching. You wish is uh, my baby because it's really started back when I was 19 and I started TCSA, uh, which is true Christian student athletes. It was a sports specific and life skills academy. Academy, um, and the life skills part is what I've really morphed into you wish and so you wish stands for centering you so you can intentionally seek healing so you can internally secure your health and it's all about just helping people grow in their mindset their habits and their execution um, and living out their purpose with confidence and that that is you wish so I assist executive leaders models athletes um, students teachers principals um, nonprofits small business owners just people growing um, in their confidence in different areas and I use a couple of different philosophies that I've created um, throughout the past couple years um, one being the stall leadership model and then the other one um, is ICPR which is intrapersonal coached intrapersonal coach to player relations so I'll definitely be talking about more um, about those individually on here as I love to teach educate and inform people on how ways to grow in their self-awareness um, and self-management so definitely make sure you check out for those um, the other thing is task leads task leads is my um, heart in a whole new way that has always been but task leads where athletes compete to complete your task and so basically what that is um it's a platform um right now that is being developed that is here to help athletes create economic empowerment by completing tasks in their communities so task leads is in the making we're super excited for this um i have um, nothing but high hopes and expectations for you wish and for task leads and for Dretz heart. Um, I thoroughly believe that all these businesses God has placed on my heart to help bless other people. And that's what I'm here for. So that's what the journey, that's what I'm doing. 
thanking you thank you for tuning in for watching um this is just you know installment one number one or really just an information session on who i am um uh, and what i'm doing and this is just gonna live on youtube or ig or wherever um that it's supposed to so that way you can stay up to breast or up to um up to you can stay abreast right well what's going on so again like i said this is gonna be real rap raw i'm trying to make as few um mistakes and edits as possible because recording a video then editing a video and uploading a video that joint takes time and i don't have as you can hear a whole lot of time and so i want this to be real off the cup from my heart to your um cell phone or wherever the case may be is and again, make sure you tap in because this is the growth journey um, and I'm excited to be here. And last but not least, you're worthy and I'm built for this. So let's grow.